Sydney is going to be fun. The battle between Jordan Gumberg and Rodden Williams. He only had about 175 after hitting this club earlier. No doubt there'll be a little bit more adrenaline on it. He likes it. Lovely result from Robin yeah. Williams. He hit a good tee shot in the last hole of the tournament. Sounded really good. It's come up a little bit shy. Didn't quite carry that first tier to get to the same level. And just hear the player in consult there with his caddy. Very lucky to have not found that fairway bunker. Ball above his feet. As you heard them say, 115, just play a stock one. Assuming with the down breeze, it's going to be a wedge. And that's a good shot. And he had a very similar putt from there probably about 10 minutes ago which of course he went on to miss so will we see history repeat itself or not that is advantage gumberg and a lovely effort from robin williams however it does mean that gumberg has a putt to capture the SDC Championship. And you know, a couple of weeks ago at Baines Whiskey Captain Open, we saw Mikael Lindbergh miss his putt in regulation play and then go on to make the same putt. Unfortunately, not the case for Gumberg. And as you called it, Alan, probably go a bit straight in this time it turned. Yeah, already hard when you've missed one left, it hasn't broken. And then you think, okay, well, if I go the same line, that would be crazy. So you change and then it does break. Gunberg ramps up the par. William still has his to complete. Yeah, still got a bit of work to do. Go through his routine. Confident pat from Robin Williams. So we'll do it all again. Yeah. Absolutely flushed. I think maybe the fact that he nearly brought that fairway bunker into play is contributing to this decision. Very neat golf swing. He has got a great golf swing, doesn't he, Jordan Gumberg? He did look intently at that ball. It's okay now, though. Here we go. Can he apply some pressure on the American? It's going to be interesting to see how he plays the shot. Because in regulation play, he actually hit it very well. Got a bit of a flyer in the first playoff hole. Came up short. This time he's managed to get perfect club distance. Pin high on the same tier. But maybe just not getting enough backspin towards the right, back towards the flag as hoped. Jordan Gumberg's tee shot there. Incredibly close to that penalty area and that's going to be a far straighter putt also on the same tier so very similar lengthy putts for the two players so we're going to see a terrific birdie putt kept to the win out Just short from Robin Williams. He had the line, just not the distance. And once again, 
It's given Gunberg an opportunity to capture the title. It's interesting one, slightly up the hill, should move a little from the right and straighten at the end. For the championship. It's got the legs and it's in. We have a winner. Jordan Gunberg from America captures the SDC championship here yeah, at the St. Francis Links. What a way to finish. Well, a highly emotional Jordan Gunberg, and rightly so. What a worthy winner, what a performance. Robin Tiger Williams, can you tell us a bit about the second name and the story behind your dad's thinking and the enthusiasm that he had to get to get a famous sporting name in there? Yeah, so the story that I've heard from him is he wanted to name me Sachin after Sachin Tintoka, the cricket player. As, uh, my dad was a really good cricket player, but he did play golf at the time as well, and I think my mum said no. Um, and then he went with Tiger Woods, and I just happened to play golf. So he had no idea that, that it would be a path. He just wanted that, that name associated with, with his son. I'm going to probably have to ask him again tonight um, about that, but I think it's just, yeah, it's just a coincidence that he named me after Tiger Woods and, and now I'm, I'm playing golf. But, um, yeah, I've been asked that question a lot throughout my junior and amateur and now my professional career, but I just think it's, it's more for me, it's an honour to be named after that man. Are you a fan of Tiger Woods? I'm a big fan. How, how can I not be? He's, he's the, probably the reason why I'm standing here and he's opened the doors for millions of, of guys out there. You can probably ask all of these guys that's playing now probably the reason why they're here today is because of him. So, Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Jordan, a phenomenal victory, an emotional victory, but one you didn't think was possible over those closing few holes. Yeah, I, it's, it's, I'm just happy to be standing here. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was possible with, with where I was and, and how far back I was coming in. And, you know, I guess it was on my side today. Uh, luck was on my side. So um, just happy to be here. Standing over that, that second playoff putt, it, it, it looked like a great putt to, to want to make. And you, you knew it was going in. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I had similar putts in regulation and, and similar putt in the first playoff hole. And um, both times I just come up and out of it and, and was a little bit more tentative with it. And that one I said, you know, I'm going to hit a good putt. If it goes in, it goes in. If not, we head back to the tee. No big deal. But I just wanted to make sure that I, made, I put a good roll on it. From challenge to straight onto the DP World Tour, that yeah. changes your plans. It does. changes my life, really. Um, just just with what, what what we've accomplished here, I can pick my own schedule and, and kind of set a plan for the year. That's something I've never been able to do. So I'm um, really looking forward to that. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.